A Dog with Nice Ears by Lauren Child, featuring Charlie and Lola. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. At the moment, all Lola can talk about is dogs. She says she would like one more than anything you could ever think of. More than a squirrel or an actual fox, she says. Sometimes my sister pretends to be a dog. Sometimes she pretends that I am a dog. And sometimes she pretends we have a dog. Mostly, we both talk about what sort of dog she would choose if mom and dad didn't always say, absolutely no dogs. Lola says, it's not fair. Charlie's friend Marv has a dog. Dad says, lucky Marv. Mom says, how about a rabbit, Lola? I say, a rabbit is not the same as a dog. Lola says, it's not even the same as a squirrel. Dad says he can take Lola to the pet shop one Saturday and she can choose whichever rabbit she wants. Lola says, okay. I say, but Lola, you do not want a rabbit. And Lola says, don't worry, I will choose a dog. I would get a brown dog because my friend Marv has a brown dog and they are the best kind of dog. Lola thinks so too. She wants to call it Snowpuff. But I say, that is not a good name for a brown dog. Lola says, but snow is nice and I like the word puff. This is not a good reason to call a brown dog snow puff. Lola says, it must have nice ears because ears are important. You hold your glasses on with your ears. I say, but Lola, your dog won't need glasses. How do you know, she says. I say, have you ever seen a dog wearing glasses? She says, no, but they probably only wear them for reading. What about its tail, I say. Tails are important for dogs. They use their tails to tell you how they are feeling. Lola says, if I had a tail, I would have a bushyish tail like a fox. But my friend Lota would most probably have a featherish tail like a bird. I say, Lola, we are talking about a tail for a dog. Lola says, well then, a waggy one, of course. I say, this is the only sensible thing you have said so far. Lola says, yes, it must be a very waggy and five rulers long. I say, no dog has a tail as long as five rulers. Lola says, then how about a puffy tail? I say, what dog has a tail like that? Lota says, an extremely furryish dog has a puffy tail. Lola says, oh yes, 
It must have extremely furry fur. More furrier than a poodle, says Lota. Yes, not like a poodle, says Lola. More like a Pekingese, I say. Exactly, says Lola. A bit like a cat. I say, I hope you don't want a dog that meows. Bark, Lola says. But of course our dog must not be a meower. It must absolutely do barking. Good, I say. Barking is best for a dog. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yes, says Lola. And it must be very, very quiet barking, so it does not wake us up. But barking is meant to wake us up, I say. Lola says, our dog can wake us up with sniffing. Marv says, dogs do like to sniff. So it should have a wiggly nose, says Lola. I say, do dogs have wiggly noses? Only if they have got an itch, says Marv. Oh, I don't want an itchy dog, I say. Marv says, they only itch if they catch fleas. My dog must not catch fleas, says Lola. He must catch sticks. Marv says, it can be any color you want and have any ears you like. But whatever dog you get, it must be a dog with short legs. Dogs with short legs do less walking. Lola says, why don't we get a dog with three, three legs like Mrs. Hansen's one? He only hops. It might be tricky to find a dog with less than four legs, I say. But a hopping dog would be nice, says Lola. You are going to have the weirdest dog, says Marv. One Saturday, Lola gets up early. Where are you going, I say. I am going to the pet shop, she says. To get a rabbit, I ask. No, she says. I told you, I am going to fetch my dog. When Lola comes home, she is carrying a big box. I can't hear any barking, I say. No, this dog is more of a sniffer, says Lola. It sounds like it's hopping, I say. Exactly, says Lola. I won't even have to train him. I peek inside. That's not a brown dog, I say. No, it is slightly more gray, says Lola. They did not have any brown ones with nice ears. I say, Lola, this dog looks a bit like a rabbit. I know, says Lola. It's because of the wiggly nose. And maybe the puffy tail, I say. What shall we call him, she says. I say, how about Snow Puff? Yes, Snow Puff is a good name for a dog with nice ears. The end.